If you're really passionate about something like I am with art, you might think that drawing all day every day would be the best thing ever. You get to do what you love with no time constraints. But there are a couple problems with this. It's important to take breaks. It's also important to take the time to find inspiration. Most of my pieces are planned out and this isn't always a very quick process. If I'm looking at for reference photos or colors and color schemes and things like that. And some artists don't spend all their time creating. They've got to market their art, sell their prints, and other things. I also need time to step back and look at my art with a new perspective. Sometimes I don't complete art in one sitting, depending on size and time and the amount of detail I have to put in. Sometimes it's nice to take some time off of something and then maybe you can come up with a new idea that you probably wouldn't have had if, if you were too focused on it for a long period of time. Recently, I've been feeling a little burnout. I'm definitely not going to stop making videos of my art anytime soon, but I want to be more intentional about my videos. I don't want to make a ton of videos without reflecting on what I need to improve or change. I want to try and make different kinds of videos, maybe like a video essay type of thing, or change the medium that I'm using. I just had to realize that even if I made like a hundred videos and put them out all at once, that wouldn't necessarily get me closer to my goals. I have to accept the fact that things take time and sometimes I don't know how long things will take and I just need to enjoy the process more. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about today's painting. So I decided to paint a gummy bear because I thought since it's usually a small size it would work well with this very tiny 2x2 two two inch canvas that I'm using. For the majority of this painting I'm using a color called quinacridone magenta. I did also use um, titanium white paint and black paint. I really like painting food and candy and recently I discovered this new gummy bear brand called Albanese Candy and I think I like them a lot better than Haribo gummy bears. They've got a lot of different flavors and they're not as hard as Haribo gummy bears either. So with the acrylic paints, I'm just building up colors. At first I'm starting with the mid-tone, which is just um, the magenta color with a little bit of water. And then I start adding the darks, working on the background and adding highlights. I really like this restaurant called Kava that sells um, Medi Mediterranean food. And I was trying to paint the pickled onions that I usually get with my order on like a canvas painting that I was working on like months ago. I never actually did complete that painting, but I really couldn't get the color right for the pickled onions because it's such a bright color. And if I had this um, particular color from Liquitex, then that would have been a lot easier for me. And the second reason is because I just wanted to try out the Liquitex Basics line because um, I've only tried their heavy body acrylics, which tend to be pretty clumpy, but I think that might be intentional, I guess. The Liquitex Basics paints are a lot smoother and easier to work with. I used um, heavy body acrylics from Liquitex 
for most of my high school art projects that involved acrylic paint. The gummy bear is complete. I hope you liked this video and found it interesting. And I hope that maybe you learned something or it inspired you to create your own art. And that's all for now.